Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be probably a quick one, but I wanna talk about something that I've just discovered uh, very recently that I think is just so funny, and it's weird, and it is kinda freaky. But basically what I'm talking about in today's video is about a video that I made a little bit ago. Now, roughly a month or so ago, I uploaded a video where me and a couple of my friends taste tested some French toast from different fast food restaurants. And of course, for most of my videos, I posted a few shorts from that video uh, just to gain traction and to get people to watch the shorts and possibly click on the video. And I posted, I think three shorts or maybe it was just the one, I'm not sure. One of the shorts I posted was a clip of my friend jokingly saying, guys, I have herpes. Let's just watch the short right now for a little bit of context of what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big boy. Get all over the bird. Chicken thing. thigh. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for more. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh. Guys, I have herpes. <laughs> no! No! So, you, oh, you get the okay. point. Oh. Basically, we were eating French toast sticks and I jokingly brought uh, a case of baked chicken from Walmart and we were just passing around eating it, being stupid. And my friend just jokingly said, guys, I have herpes. He doesn't have herpes. Damien, if you're watching, I know you don't have herpes. If you do, what I'm about to talk about may help you. But yeah, I posted the short and I uploaded it because I thought it was a funny moment from the video. Well, it garnered a little bit of an audience. Now, the actual statistics for the short stand as 380 views. Not too much. The average view duration is 13 seconds, which is roughly 70% of the short viewed, which isn't bad. But it didn't get many views, but it did get quite a few comments. And that's what I'm talking about in today's video. It's just the comments that the short got. The first one that I got, I read the comment and I thought to myself, What are you talking about? I'll put the comment up on screen right now. It basically says, May your days be full of good health. Hashtag Dr. Gibuyaka. Just like you helped many regain their health back. Thank you for doing a great job and cured me of my herpes. You are super authentic. The first thing I thought when I read this was, What are you talking about? The second thing my mind went to is this is somebody trying to get me to click on that hashtag and is going to hack me. But I clicked on it anyway and nothing really popped up. So I let it go for a couple of days. And a little bit later, somebody else commented on the video. From the very first I day came across Dr. Igudia YouTube channel. I knew that was going to be the end of my genital herpes virus. And to my surprise, his herpes actually cured my HSV2. It's herbs cured my HSV2. I read that wrong. So again, I'm thinking, what? I'm just confused at this point because it's been a little bit since I've posted this short and it's randomly getting two comments talking about a doctor curing their herpes. So again, I'm thinking this is just something stupid. This, this has got to be like just a couple of bots coming to my page and advertising something. I, I don't know. I didn't think much of it. But this is where the story kind of gets goofy. Within the past nine days, I have gotten four more comments on this video and they're just as weird as the ones I just read. And this is the only video on my YouTube channel with any comments that don't seem like real people. The next one is by a dude named Dave Chan. This was uploaded nine days ago. It's happened unbelievable to me because I never believe in herbs until a friend told me about Doc Adigba for helping her curing her herpes and I decided to email him and he sent me the herbal medicine through UPS courier service and he told me how to drink it and I drank it for just 15 days and I was healed and now I am herpes negative now all thanks to Dr. Adigba on YouTube. Thanks to him. God bless you forever. Is he advertising Dr. Adigba to me? Or is he thanking me for curing his herpes? So Damien, if you're watching this video this far in, try out an herbal kit for your herpes that you don't have because they're really trying to help you out here, dude. The same day, Lucy D comments, I just discovered that I have herpes type two. The only symptoms I get are in the vermilion border of the lips sometimes, and it goes away in a week. When I took a herbs medicine, I was cured completely from the herpes virus. I believe everywhere here had it kindly reach out to him on YouTube, Dr. Adigba. Well, we got one guy advertising Dr. Gibuyaka, and we got two people advertising Dr. Adigba to cure herpes in my comments. Five days after that, which is four days ago at this point, 
Dr. Giyubaka is changing a lot of people life. Thank God I came across him mm, happy and fulfilled. <laughs> this is so weird. But that isn't where the comments end. Two days ago, Elvis Rand comments. He says, hello, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm so happy today because I am free from HSV2 and HPV. I've been having this virus since the past two years now, and I have passed through many different processes and getting cured from the virus, but nothing was working out. A friend of mine introduced me to herbal health doctor called Dr. Alaho Adebayo Olu on YouTube, who sent me an HSV2 and HPV herbal remedy. And my life got transformed and everything is fine and okay with me. Everybody got transformed by the herbal, the herbal medicine. And all of these doctors are providing this. I don't know what is going on in my comments. And I think this comment section is like hacked or something. I don't know. And what's weird is none of these people even exist. Elvis Rand, go to his channel, nothing there. Go to Blessing Oniyahalala, nothing there. It's just blank. Lucy D, nothing there. Dave Chan, We've got somewhere. Uh-oh. It's literally just a clip from the Alvin Chipmunk movie. You can't make this up. I don't even know what that was. I heard it from my headphones. It sounded weird. What's going on in my comments? Can somebody please tell me? Let's take a look at this guy. Let's just see the doctors that they're recommending me for my herpes virus. Maybe this will help me. Cure my herpes. Dr. Digba, there they are. Like what? What is going on here? Just receive my herbal treatment for HSV2 cure. The medicine came last night, everything was- What is this? Is that piss? They got a bottle of pee to cure their herpes. The comments love them. They love them. Lucy, Lucy. Oh my God. Dr. Iguida. There they are. The same YouTube channel. Just handing out different remedies. This is disgusting. Look at this. What's going on? Are my comments section hacked? Is my comments hacked? Or is this actually people that seen the guys I have herpes that are just coming from different YouTube channels and it just happened to hit a niche of these people that love these doctors that give out herbal remedies? Is it just a coincidence that they just happen to love my content? Or is this something more? I don't know. Somebody please tell me in the comments. If you have no idea, it's okay. But leave a comment in the next video. You may get a shout out. Thank you for watching. Uh, please help me out here. Goodbye. <laughs> no money, no pots to kiss, but I fought to give. I've got one.